if it were just a few misplaced banknotes, it wouldn't have needed an explanation. Maybe they had all fallen on the floor, but it felt like the cash was coming from this cat. The pile they were playing with each day was bigger than the last. Was his feline a cat burglar? Stuart was passionate about animals, cats in particular. He loved his animals way more than his wife did. Together, the couple had adopted three animals, a dog and two cats. They were all strays, but soon Stuart felt that they were missing something. Then a beautiful American curl appeared on his porch. After much begging, he managed to convince his wife to let him keep the furry feline. The sad stray soon had a new home. He wasn't allowed to keep any more strays in the house, so he kept the new cat in his office. He was like a staff member at the place and that would rang true when the cat started turning a profit. One morning when he got to the office, he noticed some band notes on the ground in front of the glass door. They were just $1 bills, but where had they come from? They must have been dropped, so Stuart picked them up and put them on a neat pile on the desk at the front and continued his day. But his cat would continue their habit that no one expected. Everyone at the office loved the little stray. He'd snooze on the desks while people worked and look over at the monitors during the day. He'd step on keyboards and send emails that weren't ready. Just a few days later, he found some more notes on the ground exactly where the others were a few days prior. He couldn't understand where they were coming from. Stewart was now eyeing the cat. Could it have been him? Nothing else was out of the ordinary, though. It wasn't going through purses or breaking into the petty cash box. But still, new money would arrive at the front door every week. Soon they had $50 that they didn't know what to do with. There must have been a reason why this was happening. The office was in the busy part of town where there was lots of traffic every day. So when they asked to get a camera installed, they approved it. After viewing the cameras, Stuart just watched the cat walk around as normal. Nothing was out of the ordinary during the day. But when the evening rolled around, it was a different story. The feline sat at the entrance to the door. Stuart then saw a man walk past the door and noticed the cat trying to get his attention. The man uncrinkled a dollar from his wallet and slipped it through the crack in the door. The cat greedily grabbed the money with its paw. The money was then tugged through the door by the cat. Now the cat was one dollar up and the man was one dollar down. The man grinned at the feline and went on his way. Stuart scratched his head, but things would get even stranger. Stuart had no idea how the game had started, neither did the rest of the staff, who had first shoved in the money to play with the bored kitty. It didn't matter, word of the unique interaction had spread. He soon found people would intentionally come to their office to see if they could be more clever than their purring mascot. The kitty would sit there, uninterested until he saw a chance to get the bill, then he would swipe at it and claim his reward. People would giggle and take videos. One day, there was even a lone line of people waiting to take their turn. Soon, the mischievous cat was sitting on a pile of cash. It was then Stuart realized they had a problem. It would be difficult, or nigh impossible, to give back the money, and it wouldn't be fair to keep it for themselves. So, their team gathered together and made an important decision. They were going to donate all money made from the cat to homeless and animal shelters. But that wasn't all. Stuart pulled out their office supplies and made a flashy sign explaining all about the cat and where the money would go. The little guy's fame skyrocketed thanks to the internet. Soon, they found their company emails and inboxes with a new kind of mail. There's only one fitting name, Stuart said. Cashnip. At the time, it felt perfect, but the response was nothing like they had anticipated. It wasn't just singles bills here and there. Stuart walked in one day to see his digital and physical inbox overflowing with unthinkable comments. There were so many thank yous and well wishes, but the most astounding thing was there were many greeting cards with cash donations inside. Cashnip wasn't just pulling in money from the locals, his little hustler had now gone international. There was, however, one onlooker that watched everything with clear disapproval. Stuart and the team noticed one middle-aged woman would regularly walk down their sidewalk. Perhaps she also worked in their area. The tight-curled woman stood apart from the enthusiastic crowd, watching as the cat would wander from his favorite sleeping spot on the floor to the door, and back. The downward turn of her lips made her look like she was sucking on a lemon. Everyone in the work team started to feel uncomfortable. There were so many stories of people stepping in and taking action when they felt something was wrong. Was this lady going to do the same? Every day she would stroll down the street, pause at their office, look for the cat, and then frown before wandering away. Stewart's mind couldn't help but race with crazy scenarios. Was she going to claim they were using the cat? Didn't she realize he was so much better off than on the streets? It only got worse when, one day, she stopped right in front of the window. 
She pulled out her camera, snapped a photo of Kashnip relaxing on one of their displays, and then reached into her purse. What she pulled out next had the entire office slack-jawed and confused. It was a measuring tape. The woman proceeded to measure the width of the window and jot something down on a piece of paper. She then leaned in, nearly face to face with the kitty and then suddenly walked away. Stuart sat at his desk, mid-sip of his coffee, and wondering what in the world had just happened. But just when the thought things couldn't get any crazier, something arrived at their office. It was a large box with a handwritten note attached. It was from the woman. It said, cats shouldn't have to sleep on a cold floor. If he's going to be working, at least he should be comfortable. Stuart ripped open the box and let out a loud laugh. It turned out the stern woman was not only a cat lover, but she also worked at a furniture company. The measurements and close photos were all for a good reason. She had made a little sofa for the cat to sleep on. It could sit at the front window, but that wasn't all. She had looked close at the cat because she wanted to match the color of the upholstery to the color of Kashnip's eyes. Everyone in the office giggled as they rearranged the front part of the office for the new sofa. Even Kashup loved it. It also gave them a marvelous idea. They could take this entire thing so much further. It was for charity, so why not go the extra mile? Over the next few weeks, they all went nuts with excitement. They made a dedicated website, all social media accounts, and even got some t-shirts and mugs made to sell, with the proceeds going to the shelters, of course. Soon their media sites had thousands of followers. The team could snap photos of all the gifts and cards and post them online to say thank you. Their little guy continued to snatch money at the door and make everyone smile.